What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here and today I'm going to show you the easiest, uh, probably one of the easiest ways to get up and running with a visual GUI for a local LLM model. Not only can this install any of the uh, popular LLM models available online, but you can also use features such as uh, web browsing as well as uh, creating a local rag of all of your content so it can actually pull from that data, which is really, really cool. So before we get started, huge shout out to Gabriel Paso for being our first Patreon supporter. If you want to support this channel, click on that uh, link in the description below. And uh, we're going to go ahead and download Misty. Misty is an app that works for Windows, Mac, or Linux. We're going to install the Windows version today, and I'm on an NVIDIA GPU, so I'll use the X64 GPU version. But if you don't have a GPU or you have an integrated GPU, you might want to use the CPU only version. But we're going to go ahead and go with the GPU one and download the unverified file. That's fine. And this is 1.2 gigabytes, so that'll take some time. All right, so it looks like that finished downloading. We're going to go ahead and install it now. Now, if we get the uh, Windows Protect screen, just click on the info and run anyway, and the installation will proceed. All right, so so it's installed. Let's go and make this full screen and we have a couple different options. We can choose to add a remote model provider. So if you have an open AI API key or a DeepSeek API key or any of those models, you can uh, connect to it there and use that remotely. But that will cost uh, you money because open AI and all those take credits and credits cost money. So if you want to set up a local LLM on your uh, machine, you can just choose set up local AI. This is going to install a very simplistic uh, 1.5b version of an AI model, um, but it does allow you to go in and install whatever model you want. So let's go ahead and do that now. This can take some time. All right, and we are in. So we can now uh, go ahead and type to the model and say hi. And there it goes. Hello, how can I assist you today? Now, on the bottom here, we can enable real-time data, which will use data from the internet live. And you can enable quick prompts, or you can even attach knowledge stacks to chat with them. So if you have a file that you'd like to um, use or a code base or something like that, you can use a local AI model to um, basically chat with that code base. I'll show you how to do that shortly. Um, but first, I wanna show you how to configure a model and install a new model. To configure one, simply click on these model options here, and you can choose how many tokens. The, the more tokens, the longer the response is going to take. Um, and the longer it can be and the more uh, data it can hold in a response. So if your temperature, the higher the number, the more diverse and uh, unexpected words will show up. So like randomness and the lower the number, the more accurate it's going to attempt to be. So we want to choose something right in between. So we're going to choose 0.7. And then you can choose the uh, context window size. And this is similar to the output tokens, but for the input. So if you're gonna, again, send a large code base, you may want to inc uh, increase this so that you can attach larger bits of text. Like if you wanna send your entire book and then ask it how you might make it better, you might want to raise this quite a bit so you can send a lot of information. And then you can get into more of the advanced options and model instructions here. So instead of you're a helpful assistant, you might say, and you're an expert programmer who wants to teach you how to make the best code. You can make your own um, instructions here and figure out how it's going to basically speak to you. So how do you install a new model? If you want to add a remote provider like OpenAI, you're gonna do add new model provider and you can choose which type of um, model you'd like to use and which provider it is under. This supports Claude, um, Grok, OpenAI, OpenAI, all that good stuff. So um, that's there. But if you want to install your own, you can go to local AI models on the left side here and then go to browse and download models online. And then we can choose what kind of models, so either Hugging Face or Olama, and then which models we want. So let's say I want the DeepSeek R1 and it tells us which ones are good for our PC. So I can handle up to the 70B and it's recommended for my machine. So it's gonna take a while to install because it's 43 gigabytes, um, but it's going to work pretty well. We can also click assign purpose and um, enable embedding, coding, text, and vision. And when we hit update, it will enable all of those on um, that model. Now, this will take a really long time, so I'm actually going to install the, uh, let's do the 8B model so it's a little bit faster. And we're gonna do the same. We're gonna do embedding, coding, text, and vision. 
and let's click install and we've started downloading the model and you can see now we have the DeepSeek R18B so now we can ask this one questions after uh, giving it real-time data access of course and say hi explain how much knowledge you have why not right just ask something random to see what it says I am I am DeepSeek R1, an AI assistant created exclusively by the Chinese company DeepSeek. I'll do my best to help you. Uh, write a Python script that creates a GUI for a web server, allowing the user to start and stop. It should run. It should use its current directory as the web server root. All right, let's see if it can handle some code. All right, and this is really cool. You can actually see the thought process saying, all right, so the user wants me to write a Python script, and then it goes through each individual section of what it needs to do step by step. And then once that's done with a thinking process, it'll actually give you the uh, code output. So this is actually really cool to see. And we're just gonna let this run and see what it shows. And you can even see uh, that it's questioning itself and saying, wait, but that might not work because of this. So it's actually going over uh, its own responses and coming up with a better response, which is really cool. And now that it's done, it's giving us the actual script that it recommends. So as you can see, very, very powerful, has a great think process, which is just amazingly cool and allows you to uh, code and ask questions and use it like you would any other paid LLM. And finally, we can add a knowledge stack. So let's just call this driver code and we'll choose add and you'll notice that it needs text files that's okay we can just go ahead and head to our virtual display driver and change driver c++ to driver.text now i'm going to go ahead and grab this file and compose and it's been saved successfully and now i can use it for chatting so we can make a new workspace here call this new chat and we're going to use the deepseek r1 8b model so now we can go ahead and choose uh, add knowledge stack here and choose driver code. And we can ask it something simple. Can you give me the first function in the driver code I attached? And it gave me the virtual display driver device add function. And I said, what programming language does the provided code use? And it uh, figured out it was C++. So very cool functionality. Definitely let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Peace. That digital guru with a modern day voodoo The dude with the short fuse for ignorant minds You can learn a thing or two about a new device Unboxing kudos, we rock that pseudo Administrative elevator command We build it up or break it down in that virtual lab From conversations to games to interviews with a broader view He keeps it fresh, always brings something new It's Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, huh? Mike the Tech, the architect, huh? Mike the Tech, Mike the Tech, yeah Mike the Tech, the architect, yeah